Um, so I guess I'll start. Um, what attracted you to this project in the first place? Well, like a lot of people, I read Skip's article in January of 98. Got, I called him up, started talking about the case. Really just Bernie and Miss Nugent's relationship. And uh, we just started talking about it. I kind of felt it could be a, a movie. I, I grew up in East Texas, so it, I don't know. I like their relationship. I like the small town part of it. And ended up attending the trial with Skip. Saw these two men in action. It, you know, with Bernie in jail, Miss Nugent not around. It was interesting the way this event reverberated, kind of refracted through the community. So that seemed to be the right way to, to tell the story. I hadn't really seen a movie that had been told through townspeople or gossips or, you know, whatever you want to call it. But that's, I'm really proud of that element of the movie. It was kind of an odd choice, but it really works. And I think that's one of the reasons people respond to the movie the way they do. It feels very real. The sense of humor of East Texas that's different than the sense of humor of West Texas. So you have people who are Gabby, Exhibit A, Danny Buck Davidson, and like in West, in small towns and other, in West Texas, people are far more laconic. So everybody's got an opinion and everybody starts talking. And that's one of the things that happened about this story is that in the midst of the tragedy, you were able to get this sort of bigger view of how this was playing out. You know, Danny Buck let me, was just more than happy to let me witness people yelling at him, saying, don't prosecute him, let him go, he's a good man, and you would see him roll his eyes. And uh, I would just sit around while I was reporting the story going, good Lord, this should be a movie. And as soon as the article comes out, Rick calls and goes, good Lord, this should be a movie. <laughs> right. Do you think the movie will play well in St. Augustine? Oh, that, that, Dan warned me about that. that. That was a question, he said. He said, yeah, you'll be fine in Carthage when Danny first saw the movie. And he kind of whispered to me, don't let your car break down in San Augustine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow. What's remarkable is that the way this movie's been embraced in cities like New York and Los Angeles, because yeah, all over the country, there so. was a question of whether outsiders would get it. You know, that was always a debate. Would people understand that this is not a parody, that this is life in East Texas, and that this is the way life works? And they not only understand it, they celebrate it. So it's really been, to me, a revelation of how much people outside of Texas love, love this movie. When we were interviewed by out-of-state media, you know, one of the first questions is, well, how did you make up the names Danny Buck and Scrappy? <laughs> we are really pleased to be here at Longview Ballet Theater representing East Texas and hosting the East Texas premiere of the movie Bernie. And we have some local celebrities who are in the movie. We're going to let them walk the red carpet. First, Mr. Rob Anthony. <laughs> Carol Biggs and Mike Biggs.